receive threats a, a common issue when it comes to financial accounts? Well, it can be, and, and I can say we don't have a lot of cyber thief activity around here. In fact, none, but uh, I just know that cyber thieves are working literally day and night to uh, trick people into giving up uh, account access through passwords, social security numbers, you know, birth dates and things like that. And so, I mean, I, I get phishing attempts here sometimes and I recognize them and I delete them, but uh, we just had a, a few tips because we're very vigilant about protecting our clients uh, information from cyber thieves. And a lot of it is really on, on the consumer's end to, you know, be watching out for attempts at so-called phishing where things look very familiar and almost right. But um, most financial institutions, institutions are not going to ask you for uh, passwords and socials and things like that to, to, to confirm things. And, and so you want to be sure you know who you're talking to or interacting with. Um, if you see a suspicious attachment, don't download it. Don't click on that link until you have a chance to verify that in some other way by going to the firms, uh, to their app or their website or call them. Um, yeah, one thing that's a real chore for people is passwords. You have a million passwords, and uh, that can be a real hassle. And, and we think that the, um, the password management software that's out there, there's different companies that offer ways to do that. It's a smart way to keep your passwords up to date and change them on a regular basis um, and then use that software to help you know your passwords. Uh, some other things I know that are important, yeah, be very careful of using kind of public or free Wi-Fi because um, the security on that type of thing is much lower than what you're used to. And it's easy for people to hack into that. And, and we have some notes here that some hackers even set up their own public hotspots and offer them to people as a way to entice them in to sign into their accounts and they can, you know, uh, hack things that way. Uh, and, and along those same lines, you don't want to give someone control of your computer. Don't give them um, access where they might want to offer to disinfect your computer. Don't do that. No one that's legitimate does things like that. Um, and when you're calling a phone number, you, know, you make sure that you know who you're calling and maybe you look at a recent statement or a bill or something like that that they've sent you with their number, not a number that's on the, uh, that you Google and find, and that could be a scam or, you know, a hacking thing right there. You just have to be very vigilant and, and don't trust stuff. If it, if it doesn't seem quite right, verify that it is before you click or respond. Okay, Mark, so those are all great ways to protect yourself. And of course, make sure to stay vigilant. Um, how can people get in contact with you or someone else from Edward Jones to kind of get some help with protection from cyber thieves or just to go over financial goals? Absolutely. And, you know, probably the easiest way is to go to edwardjones.com and search for wherever you live by zip code or something like that or city. And uh, the local advisors will pop up directly and that won't be a scam or a hack. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Mark Matthews with Edward Jones. Mark, thanks again for joining us. Thank you.